A big thanks to my Patreon supporters. And thanks to the following donators of $5 or more. Dead Zergling Radio Raptor Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. Last time, we did a hard mode run with Maggie. And things turned out pretty good. So, what are we doing today? Well, only got a few more challenges left to go. But do I want to try one? Eh, what the heck. Get them all out of the way fast and I won't have to do them again. So what's this do? Looks like we got spiders and flies. Spiders and flies. I don't know whether um, that means they are popped when we take damage or we cause damage. And it also looks like I got the tick down there. So let's see. I'm hitting things and it's not causing spiders and flies, so I guess I'm gonna have to take damage for anything to work. Which is gonna suck. Oh, wait, no, that uh, looks like one popped out there. Maybe it uh, has a chance depending on when I kill an enemy? Or I'm not. No, no. I, th I think I saw one jump out there. Yep. Okay, so apparently it's when I kill an enemy. Now let's get a key. And let me look around to see if any of these might possibly have... Like, if I put it here, there's a chance I'll find a secret room. Nope, no secret room. But that gave me a gold chest. Ah, what the hell. And that was money, which probably I'm not going to need all that much. But I'll take whatever I can get. Let's try putting it right here. Oh, I don't have another bomb. I guess I can go up and grab that other gold chest and see if it has a bomb. It didn't, but I got my key back, so it's alright. I need resources. Lots of resources. Let's see if I get any. This could be a resource. Card against humanity. Alright, well, might as well use it now. Because, maybe, one of these will drop things I need. Already got a spirit heart, so that's cool. Probably should have waited until I had a better way of taking this shit out. Oh well. I'll manage. We'll just take a couple of minutes, that's all. Yeah! Another penny! This would, uh, be a good time to, um, I don't know. I was gonna say find the curse room, but that'll eat up my spirit heart without touching the red hearts. So, not as good as I had hoped. And we're shooting, and we're shooting, and we're shooting, and we're shooting. Almost done with this. A little more. There's more drops. Would have been nice if one of these could have been a bomb. I'm not even sure that poop can drop bombs, though. I don't know why not. They seem to drop most everything else. And for all that, we get more poop. And I don't know if this is a shop or something else, but we are here now. Hmm. I was hoping there would be a bomb. 
It does have a 1 plus 1 thing, which I would very much like to get, so let's see if I can get enough money before the end of this level. Hey, a broken magnet that I can't pick up because I have the tick. Right. These things annoy me betimes. Okay, there's the boss. Surely the boss will drop the money I need. Let's see what's in this room real quick first, though. Mm, not a whole heck of a lot. Alright, here we go. Gurglings. Well, Zero did give me the idea of staying on the wall. Which seems to be not effective here. Yep, 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 nope. Not what I needed to have happen. Those flies are helping, though. Very much helping. Not their flies, mind you, my flies. I'm a little surprised at how slowly they're popping out, though. Oh well. I did get some health. So, were there any rooms I missed? I wonder. Let's see. There's the shop. If I can't find any money at all anywhere else, I will buy the key. Yeah, just one bomb. One bomb. Would fix everything. Nope, nothing I can do. Alright, well, now I'll get the key and move on then. Yoink! Next floor. I will find some bombs, I'm sure of it. Pert near guaranteed. Bound to happen. Gotta happen. Gonna gotta have to have to happen. Hey, there's an arcade. I can go in there and get stuff, probably. Maybe. One bomb. Just one bomb. Oh, fire. Firing fire. That's going to be a pain in the ass if it drops something that I can't pick up. Why would you do that, game? It's not very nice at all. It's like it's being as big a dick as possible. I don't get it. You think that's funny, game? You think that's funny? I'll show you what's funny. When I beat you like a red-headed stepchild. Not the kind of bomb I was going for, game. Not the kind. And there's still not a bomb in the shop, because why would there be? What possible reason could there be to have the proper items that I need to finish the game? Maybe I'll get a bombs or key pill. Tears up. That's pretty good. It's something I can use. Let's face it. I'm basically just hoping for the best in a bad situation. And you did not drop my bomb. Getting mellow. Yes, let's use that word, mellow. Here we are. Beat this thing. That's got a rich dark color. It'll drop a bomb for me. That's how that works. Right? No, it just meant that it explodes. 
Well, you can explode this. You can't see it, but I'm making a rude gesture. Dingle! First gurglings, then dingle. Oh no, you don't. Whoops, guess it does. I think that's the first hit I've taken this run. And it did, in fact, drop a spider. So flies pop with shots, spiders pop when taking damage. And that's in a great position right there. I can hit it and it can't hit me. Except now I can't hit it. Oh well. Let's move slightly up. Nope, nope. That was a mistake. Oh well. Even more health. This should be a good deal room for me. Um... I am definitely going to take that, because then I can fly over... Wait, that's Horror of Babylon, that's not Spirit of the Night. Well now I feel like I completely wasted that part. Because I'm not going to use this, ever, if I can help it. Ah, Trials and Tribulations. Really, I got no one to blame for that one, but myself. It's been so long since I've picked up either of those items that I forgot what they look like. For those of you who don't know, the item I picked up in there, Whore of Babylon, means that when I get down to one red heart or less, I will increase my damage. Let's do this a couple of times. I don't expect that it's going to help, but you never know. Well, I did get a defensive fly out of that, and plenty of money. Now, if I could just do that enough to uh, buy something at the shop, nah. I'll be all set. Wait a minute, I could do this. But will it be enough? I do have some more hearts lying around. I could also get down to Whore of Babylon state like this, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to go back to the shop. I don't remember what was in it for 15 cents. Deck of tarot cards. No, extra card room. Okay, well that's not as good as I thought it was. Two of spades doubles my keys. Which, alright. I'll just go ahead and yeah, I'll save it. Oh, looks like we're pretty much done with this floor. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping there would be better stuff. I could play the blood bank a little more, but eh, I'm not going to. I already wasted enough, enough time shooting poop. Let's not spend an hour in the arcade again. I do that far too often. It's good and wise gameplay most of the time, but I realize it's not all that fun to watch. Hey, now I get a bomb. And then I trap myself in a place. Not a good place. It's a bad place. More bombs? More bombs! Alright, now we're getting somewhere. And I think I'm gonna hit this. Lots more bombs. And... whoops. Double whoops. That was... crappy. I don't know how that thing managed to hit me twice. It seems like... my iframes should have at least paid off there, but oh well. I didn't want another deal with the devil room anyway. Who wants those? They're so lame and unhelpful. That one time. And... heads. 
mean old flying shooting heads. What's their story, one must wonder? Eh, I'll save that in case I need it later. And I'm sure I'll need it later. More heads. Sure I'll, are a lot of these around all of a sudden. Sometimes I'll go a whole two or three games without seeing any of them. And I would happily go two or three games without seeing any of these guys. I seem to have more trouble dodging them than any other projectile wielding enemy in the game. I'm not really sure why that is. This should be a fairly easy room for me. And I will go in the curse room. <laughs> Can I push a block to reveal the secret staircase? Yeah, that that's that would be something if they suddenly put that in. I wonder how long it would take someone to figure it out. That would be neat. Glad I came in here. Because now I have increased black hearts and increased chance of deal with the devil rooms. At least I'm reasonably certain that's what that does. Hey, strength card. Not bad. Uh, I'm getting ready to use my key up, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. And Black Candle, which uh, keeps me from getting hit by curses, but I'm just going to get that. I've already had one curse, and we've only got a few levels yet to go! And that's going to be a double boss room, so I'm not looking forward to it at all. I'll take that. Very few good things have ever happened to me in these double boss rooms, so I'm going to get ready to use my strength card. Yeah, probably a good idea. Otherwise, I'll just wind up forgetting I had it. Oh, you can also see the tick doing its job there by uh, starting the enemy out with slightly less health than it would have had. Not good for me to have them so far off screen that I can't see what they're about to do. Probably. Alright, there's one down, and... I did not have enough help to get the uh, deal with the devil room there. It's okay, we'll get it on the next floor. But, do I have enough money? Not quite. Alright. Let's, uh, let's just move on here. Because next, you see, we have... What? We have a big old what? Cave stew. I knew that. Of course you did, sir! What did I just get done saying about these skeleton dudes? I believe what I said was I wanted to fight fewer of them. And that's not what's happening here. The game is not being friendly and accommodating, like it usually is so very friendly and accommodating and always does nice things for me. Like, give me bombs on the floors where bombs matter. I mean, sure, I've got bombs now, but now I'm not finding any tinted rocks. See, game, this is the part where you immediately drop some tinted rocks to make me a liar. That would show me. Boy, howdy. Okay, it's not going to do it. Fine. I think I probably want to try getting that gold chest... And the way I could theoretically do that would be 
to knock it out of its little area using a bomb. But first we'll see what this boss does for me. Maybe I'll get a flying item of some description that would be useful. And since this particular champion, Gertie, is only going to summon enemies and not shoot at me, I feel relatively safe. You know, compared to if it was any other kind of Gertie. The flies, however, can definitely repeatedly shoot at me, so... Make of that what you will. Ah, there we go. More hearts. Very helpful. But no deal with the devil somehow. Interesting. I feel like I did everything right and then the game screwed me anyway. I better use one more. I'd better use one more and not screw it up. Thank you. And that got me Bob's rotten head, which is an ambivalent feeling at best. Well, at least I have a spacebar item. Let's, um, use it to check for a secret room up here. After I make sure that it wouldn't be futile. It would be futile. Right. Good thing I didn't waste it. The hell kind of room is this? Boy, a flying item sure would have been great. Maybe I could have gotten one with the deal with the devil? Guess not. Okay, shop. It's up to you. Be the greatest shop. You are not a shop at all. You are a library. Book of Belial is a pretty good item to grab. Telepathy for dummies is the worst. And do I bother using this any? First things first. Nope, nothing. Alright. I'll use this just until he drops one thing. Okay. Uh, Passage, that's pretty good. And Temperance. Temperance, that drops me a blood bank, I believe. Okay, let's uh, use this Iwa's rune, because it might drop me an item seller thing. Uh, nope, that just goes straight down to the next floor, which I do not want to use yet. Maybe after I finish everything else off. Cool black heart. Wish I could fly. That'd be neat. I probably should try to not land on the spikes. Oh good, more of these. Because I wasn't tired of them. I swear I wasn't. Now, I can use this temperance card to my advantage in that arcade. Also, I can use Greed to my advantage because he'll drop lots of money. Which I can also use in the arcade, or the store on the next floor, if the next floor has a store. And there's Mom's Toenail, which is just a terrible trinket, but I can't get it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Not exactly what I was going for, but let's use this Temperance card. And doing that, we can double up on our blood banks. This will also allow me to get down to Whore of Babylon status, potentially. I don't know why I'm not there yet. Maybe I have to be half a heart. Yep, half a heart. Okay, well, let's just uh, pump enough money into this guy to get him to drop something good. Okay, there's another hit point, which is good for me. I was really, really hoping one of those would blow up and create the thing that I need. I'll blow this up. I was hoping it would drop some hearts. It didn't. Blow both of these guys up. Or do I use the key beggar? Mm, I think I better wait see how things go 
on the rest of the floor. Make sure I don't shoot myself in the foot. Never shoot yourself in the foot. That's... You want to shoot the bad guys in the foot. And... See, it was good that I got down to Horror of Babylon State because now I can go in here and get this. Damage and hit points up. So I'll be out of Horror of Babylon State, but I can put myself back in it. But I also have increased damage now, so we're doing quite a bit. Also, I forgot I had this. Which also further increases my damage. And if it recharges every three rooms, why not use it? Aw, you got me. This ain't too bad. Doing a goodly amount of damage. Like, more than you'd expect to in a run like this, really. And here's some more health. Can we get even yet still more health, I wonder? It's not outside the realm of possibility. Seems like... yep. And there's some in the boss's room, too. Just in case... okay, those guys were going faster than normal. More health? Yes, thank you. Perfect. Just what I needed. Alright, now let's hit up those other arcade blood bank things. Again. Now. Here. For me. To use. On the blood bank. There we go. So, now I can see what this one does, and as soon as I grab that blood bag, all of my hit points will be increased and refilled. And I'm not too worried about uh, keeping curse status because, you know, I've got plenty of damage to do now. Oh, it doesn't fully refill your health anymore. I did not know that. Or maybe it never did, and I've just never had that much health to refill when I've gotten it. Not certain. But what I am certain of is that I'm going to go back there and pick up that other heart first. I wonder if I should go ahead and use the Demon Beggar. Eh, what the heck. It might be a terrible idea, or it might be a brilliant idea. I guess we'll find out. I don't know if it's close enough to that blood bank to where I can double down on it again. But I can find out easily enough. I... oh no, definitely not. Definitely not. Dropped a great trinket that I can't actually use. And a card that I can. Not that I would. Except I will, because it can drop more hearts. Hearts that I can use on that guy. Assuming he doesn't disappear. Speed and range up. Okay. That works. And hell, we got a key beggar. Might as well do something with that while we're in here. What'd you do for me? Uh, money and another key. I think that's about enough of you. Unless this thing drops lots more keys. I'm gonna get my health back. I hope. There's no reason not to. I already said that it would probably be boring to watch this. Ooh, the stars. That would come in handy if there were any item rooms, which there aren't. Okay, that's enough of that. That was reasonable, I think, overall. 
I am moving very fast now. And I'll just hit this. Downwards we go. Home stretch. And an army of spiders. I wonder what the stars card will do if I use it. <laughs> Absolutely nothing! Use a bomb, get a bomb, and possibly some black hearts. Good idea. And some regular hearts. Why not? I like it. It's good for me, good for you. So good. My army of spiders has been decimated. And another lover's card. Nifty. Ah, why did I go over there? That's not the exit. That was dumb of me. For some reason I was thinking that there was something over there. There wasn't. Sun cards. Very good. Excellent, in fact. That all Uh-oh. Grubby man hands. You know how I feel about those. At least there's only one. And we'll go ahead and hit up the boss. And then depending on how I do on that, I can go back and see what else this floor does for me. It's dropping an awful lot of leapers. That was quick. I expected it to be a little more trouble. The juice! The juice is loose. The Krampus is a Mampus. I don't know. This is a pretty helpful boss to have lots of speed-ups for. Very helpful. And Krampus's head, which is incredibly overpowered, so naturally I love it. The Emperor, challenge me! What was that other card? The, uh, the Lovers? Okay, I've got an Emperor and a The Sun, so... I'm gonna hang on to that Emperor, and then I can use it as soon as I get to the next floor to go straight to the Mom Fight. Now the question is, do I even bother exploring the rest of this floor? And since all I could possibly find is a shop, and there's nothing in the shop that could possibly be all that useful, we continue. I could pad this out, but I think I've put enough time in on this one. Oh yeah, I gotta see what's in here first. Goat head. On the last place it could possibly be useful. Thanks. Alright, let's uh, use that Emperor card and be on our way. I'll start out with Krampus's head as soon as I get a good shot. Ooh, Blue Mom. And almost completely dead. There we go. So, what did I win for doing this? Oh yeah, that's real helpful now. I won Technology 5? Or Technology point five. I have never seen that before, so that ought to be interesting. Well, thanks for watching. This has been your old pal Rosser, and take a drink.